What's going on everyone, MVBC here today bringing you a Photoshop tutorial and what I'm going to be teaching you is how to create your own custom exosuit skin. So what I mean by that is a lot of pros have these custom exosuits being made by designers on from Photoshop and they make a lot of GFX and stuff so I'm going to show you the way I've done mine. First off I'm going to give you a preview of what you'll be making but it won't exactly be like this. If you have a logo you can change it to yours and your custom color so let's jump right into it everything you need will be in this folder in a link down below so you can download it don't worry so first off you're gonna to have to drag and get your image into here just drag that image right there straight into it and you'll be set so once you've done that you want to create a layer over top of your background and you want to change it to overlay once you've done that, you want to find your two favorite colors, orange and white, which is our team colors. You can be whatever you want, black and blue, pink and purple, whatever you would like. So for time for the time of this video, I'm going to pause it, but I'm going to show you guys what you need to do. You need to make your brush length probably around five or six, and you want to go ahead and paint everything that you would like one color and then paint the rest of it another color. So for the time's sake I'm going to go ahead and pause this and once I'm done I'll show you the next step so once you've colored the main piece right here you want to go ahead and make a new layer because these parts are going to be a little bit darker and you're going to have to duplicate that so go ahead and make a new layer and you just want to go over these well hit control alt Z if you did that on accident because you were following me go ahead and make this a overlay before you do anything and go ahead and color this you'll have to actually color well color this and depending on how bright you want it you'll have to copy the layer a little bit to make it a little bit better so go ahead and color these right here only takes a second oh messed up But once you get that colored, if you want it to be a lot brighter, you just hit Control J and it'll make it a little bit brighter. But you want to change the opacity because that looks a little bit ridiculous. About right there, 64%. And for each thing that you would change colors, say these little pipes and stuff, you would want to make a new layer. So we're going to go ahead and start coloring the pipes next. So let's make a new layer. And it's very simple. Well, I've done the mistake again. Hit Control Z and go to your layers. Make that a overlay. And all you have to do is color these little pipes or tubes. I guess it's part of the exosuit. And you just color that like so. I know there's a little bit right there. You can hit it with the eraser tool. Just like that. Nothing major to fix if you do go over the lines. Just get your eraser tool out and boom fix it just like so. Get your eraser tool out. Fixes it like a charm. So once you get all these painted, it's a very simple process actually making this exosuit. There is more in-depth ones. I'm not going to go into that because it would take me a while. But this is just your basic exosuit skin if you would like to make one and show it off for your clan. So you got your pipes painted almost all of them you got all of them painted now I do believe so so next you're gonna make a new layer go to overlay and this is gonna going be your other color and ours is gonna be a basic white and all you have to do now is just paint over this I'm gonna go ahead and pause this for time's sake so now that you've got that painted you wanna go ahead and do everything else with this white collar whatever your primary color is I just chose white because it makes the metal look more chromed out or stained oh. Yeah, chromed out. So once you color everything that you want to look bright, the next step will be the shirt, and then the step after that will be adding the text and making it look professional. So just go over everything like that has bolts and stuff with your other collar. I I prefer white. It just makes it look makes it stand out the most. So I'm gonna pause this, and once you're painting everything white that you want, go ahead. So now that you got everything chromed out or white next step is going to be the shirt so let's go ahead and get this going 
So you need to make another new layer and this is going to be for your shirt. So if you're using orange you want to switch back to your main collar and go ahead and make this overlay. I apologize. And you just need to collar in your shirt. Very easy tutorial. Basically it's filling in the cartoon thing when you're young. You'd like get some crayons and fill in these things. This is basically what you're doing in Photoshop today. So you need to make it a little bit smaller for the brush size on this part. Go ahead, fill up these little gray lines that you missed. And you got a little bit of the orange shirt over here. Go ahead and fill that up, make it look really nice. And we're going to go ahead and make another layer for this. So hit Control J and you don't want it that bright. Just you want it to be you want it to pop about like that. That probably looks that looks really good. And so since your shirt's already orange, you need to go ahead and it actually looks gold for some reason. I think we need to change this. Yeah, we need to make that more orange along with layer two. For some reason, my colors are look different on my monitor. I do apologize on behalf of that. How does that look? My monitor looks different than my laptop screen. So once you've got all this orange, we need to find which one of the pipes is. Go ahead and make that orange too. Give it a little bit more color. I do apologize for that, guys. But now your oranges are pretty close. I don't know why it looks. It looks extremely orange on my monitor and not so orange on my laptop. But it still looks good. So go ahead and continue that. And now that you got your shirt orange, you need to go ahead and make this white part. You need to make this stand out. So go ahead and hit this arrow down here. Switch back to your white. And you want to go over this on your sleeve. Don't worry, we'll fix this in a second. So go ahead and do that. Go to your newest layer, go to overlay. And it doesn't really pop, so we need to copy that again. We need to copy that layer, make it pop, stands out. Yep. Get your eraser tool because I went over the arm a little bit. Don't want to have that. So just erase it a little bit. So now that you got your white on both sides, we're going to go on to the text and the logo. So basically you've got the hardest part done. Now we just need to add the text. Boom, we have the text. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. We got the text going on. Yep, yep. So next off you need to make a well we need to bring this down obviously and I need to get my logo real quick give me one second guys it's in my blaze support grab my logo I have no clue why that's on overlay I'll fix that in one second drag and drop this over get your eraser tool I don't need my text apologize hit control C because you want to make this small and resize it to a better size which is probably about right there honestly um, I just now noticed that this is not exactly sized so go ahead and do that Notice it's not in sync with everything. So once you go ahead and do that, I do apologize that it does not look like the highest quality image. So once you've done this, you want to change your text. You want to put some text. Uh, typograph. Pro. 
And you're going to put eSports Gamer. That is extremely too big. Change it down to about 30. And that's still a little bit too big, so we're going to shrink this down a little bit. About right there. And then you want to go to your layer of your text. Go to blending options. Go to gradient overlay. Click on the brightest part of this text. Well, click on this color. That does not need to be there. Give me one second. I apologize. I messed up. So gradient overlay, click on this first color. You want to click on the brightest color of the text, hit OK, go to this. Now you want to click on the darkest part. And now you have the eSports camo. You basically have the advanced warfare color. Put some drop shadow and make it just stick out a little bit. And now you have the eSports camo text there. Make it smaller. Put it right under there. And now that's pretty much everything you need except for adding your curves. Let's go to window, layers, and that's not it, swatches. Where is my fool? There we go. You need to add a curve to it. Not exposure. Curve. And you just want to drag this down just a little bit. Drag it down just a little bit. It makes it a little bit darker as you can see well as you can see it just kind of livens it up a little bit makes the colors pop a little bit more I'm going to go ahead and fit on screen so you can see the whole screen now we're going to add a little bit of effects on it after to make it just pop a little bit so I'm going to go to my pack that I gave you guys we're going to open this. Go ahead and open this right up. And you need to go to particles. Go to atmosphere 3 or 2. Today I'm going to use 2. Go to duplicate layer. And change this to COD PNG. And what do you have? You have this atmosphere over here now. Drag it to the top. And you probably can't really see it too good right now. So let's go ahead and hit control T. Actually, I'm going to show you guys an easier way of doing this. Drag this out. Drag that onto it. So now you can see the bubbles over there. That's what we needed. So go ahead and bring that down to about right there. This kind of adds this effect of this bubbly look, like a lens flare or something in that matter. So you can hit control Z, control J. And if you think that's too much, go ahead and change the opacity down to about 50%. Just gives it more effect. And go back to the Photoshop pack that I gave you guys. Go down to your lights. You want to get... It's none of these lights, is it? Um, you don't need the lights. What do you need? Sparks, that's what it is. I apologize that my brain crashed. Go ahead and put these sparks right there at the bottom, but we're going to make them smaller. It's a little bit too big. And you want to move this down below your text. So it's over the text. And that's basically how you make your own custom esports thing. I do apologize on it being so long. I could show you a better one I mean this one clearly that I showed in the preview at the beginning looks better it's a high-res picture it just this one I put more time into than in this tutorial this is like a 13 minute tutorial but that's basically how you make your own custom esports exosuit I hope you enjoyed if you're new to the channel definitely hit the subscribe button don't forget to like and leave a comment seeing what tell me what you'd like to see next if you need any help in Photoshop just let me know and I'll make a tutorial anyways this is MVBC out